The five spotlights are gone. The bear is on stage alone, looking aristocratic and intimidating. Earth, wild, strong. I can sleep all winter if I want to, rip you to shreds if I want to. But I prefer to spend my time breathing, tasting the air, smelling the humans, their fear, their love, their greed, their despair. They don't scare me. I can eat them, vanish them, flesh and bones down my gullet, the bare essentials. I prefer ecstasy, the smells that surge from all living creatures when they rejoice inside the passions of their becoming. The pulse of their ontological existence is perfumed to me, those bare essentials. I rip your throat open with my teeth, my teeth deep into your flesh, the tendons of your neck, blood bursts onto my tongue, over my teeth, floods my mouth. Nice. The bear, much more relaxed, goes to sit nonchalantly on the edge of the stage as the contestants appear in the aisles as wild, sexy bears threatening the audience. Once upon a time, a long time ago, Mama Bear got her very own first washing machine. It wasn't a fancy kind, just a plain white washing machine with two dials. Mama Bear never told a soul how she would wake up in the middle of the night while her family was dreaming and sneak down quietly to touch her very own first washing machine. With both palms flat on its shiny, cool surface, she would close her eyes and say, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All bears vanish. Only powerless people manipulate. Only people who believe that they are powerless manipulate. Because no one is powerless. When she told herself she was powerless, she was manipulating herself. Not in a good way. Into a frenzy. One spotlight on stage and May is in it, miming her talent. How many versions of truth are true? What if I was to rain on you like thunder? Decry your addiction to rules and games? Your ignorance of love and play and Fascist freedom? And fractured like the mops and buckets in Fantasia. Smaller and smaller. And more and ever more woven into the fabric of how we are with each other. It's the women who hold each other down while the other women gouge out young women. Young girls. Okay, gouge out children's clitorises. Men cut the top off baby boy well, penises. What do you make of that? We cut the tip off of pleasure flesh. This is how we dance. The genders do far less damage to each other than they do to their own kind. We do not honor pleasure. Is everything for sale? Sparkle power. Can it be our purpose to create some wild, invulnerable machine out of ourselves? Or is it to become as human as we can be? You seem content to define alive as simply not dead. I was tiny and very brave. I'll keep her hands off my future. You know, a poet doesn't see the world any differently than she writes about it. My world is filled with halos, auras, layers of meanings. And each of those meanings means something. And meaning something is its life. I live in a world of spirits, and when I dance with them, I am in a world of oceanic splendor.
May is alone on stage, finishing her talent with a flourish. I think we're all incredibly peculiar. Peculiar is human, not pathological. Pathological means anti-human by definition. Normal isn't human. Normal is a numerical concept that has pathological effects on the people it's meant to help. Unique is nature. There's nothing standard about life. Peculiar is human. Peculiar is life. I'm a real American. I love happy endings. Give me, give me, give me a happy ending. Blackout. End Act Four. There was word, the word. spirits. I, did. I live in a world of spirits instead of a world, world of, of words. World of word spirits. Oh, oh I didn't catch yeah. that.